Okay, so I haven't done a video on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes before just because I still feel like a bit of a noob when it comes to all of it. But the way I'm looking at it is I've seen a few people in my guild who maybe are just starting the uh, territory wars and I thought, okay, let's just see if we can explain it a little bit. If anything, we had a good win last time. I'm going to say I'll talk about that in a minute, but uh, yeah, I'm just really hopeful we can get some understanding of it. So I'm just looking here and I'll be honest, I'm a bit surprised to be honest. We've got Geonosis Separatist Mark coming up uh, pretty quick. We can't join that obviously with our guild GP. Didn't know the territory, ba territory battle was coming so fast either, so that's good to know. But yeah, territory war. So we're in the preview phase. Currently we've got 12 out of 50. I'll admit I need to sign up for that, so let's get that uh, joined. Now, this is one of the reasons why I want to make the video, the join period. So as you just saw, I've joined in. I'm part of the territory war. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, what it means is that I'm going to have... I've locked in now. I've got the units that I've got right now. So if we just go into my uh, character list on here. So, wrong screen. There we go. Come on. So, as you can see, we've got Ezra, Kane, and Plo, etc. We've got, these are the ones I'm prioritizing with my favorites. They'll all be available, plus the ones who are just down here. So, again, I'm struggling to use two screens for some reason right now. So yeah, we've got Air all the way down to, well, we've got York Alder, but I don't think he'd count. What's my lowest one? Let's have a nosy. I don't think Farm Boy would count, would he? I think Farm Boy would be just below the threshold. Yeah, way below the threshold. Uh, let's see. Dengar? No, he's going to say, if anything, this just goes to show I really need to learn my roster. Uh, but yeah, it's you have to have 6,000 power. So the way you see it, if I just click on Thrawn, for instance, you can see up here, power 9,459. And the way you can just work out who you've got available, just look at the power, and that's a clear indicator. So Cad Bane's just over, 6,876. If we go through the list, at this point, Range Trooper is the one who cuts off. So he's the first one on my list who isn't, 5,452. There will be some of my favourites because obviously even though they are favourites at the moment I'm prioritising them, they still aren't powerful enough. So uh, crew I think is unavailable, yep. And that obviously would mean that uh, First Order Executioner and First Order TIE Pilot, no, First Order Stormtrooper, they are unavailable. I should really know who I'm farming. Uh, equally, even the, I'm actually a bit annoyed at this. I think because of the star count it's impacting, but you would have thought that a gear 8 Geonosian soldier with 4 stars would be over 6,000 power, but obviously not. Um, some fac is 6,336, so we'll count. So, I've, hopefully I've just shown you a way of just judging the power at least and knowing if you've got a squad that's capable. Now, when you're going through and preparing for the territory war, I would use the squads page. So, for instance here, we've got the three I mainly use. So we've got uh, Phoenix, we've got an Empire squad, and I've got my Jedi squad, which I'm just trying to power up right now. Now, if you've got a bigger roster, I mean, if you've been playing the game long enough, you'll know all this and you don't need to watch it. But if you are brand new, then I would advise you to use squads. So the idea is, um, if I just want to create a modeling squad just to demonstrate this, assign, that's how you get into the menu. And you can just pick any random bunch of players or characters, shall I say. So go Bounty Hunters, for instance. I've got four here, so I'll just click on all four. And that makes a, well, it makes a four-man squad. So that's as simple as it is. If I want to get rid of them, just click that button there and go and delete. So that way I don't have to see that. So yeah, it's nothing too complicated. And it's a good way of just keeping everything organized. So... Again, I feel like that's a fair demonstration of what needs to be done there. Um, just going back to the guild and the territory war page a second. I mean, we have got 13 at the moment, so I'm just going to go into the other phases just while I'm here, because even though I can't demonstrate exactly, I think seeing the map is helpful. Now, in Discord, on our Discord server, I did try to demonstrate the way I break this up. I tried to use zones as a way of uh, splitting the map up a little bit, just because, I don't know about anyone else, I dislike the idea of saying, okay, front top wall, front bottom wall, you know, eventually it gets really finicky trying to describe it. So I just split them up when I was 
assigning people so zone one zone two zone three zone four you know it's just basically give it a number just so you know where you're going and other guilds will have their own methods but i thought i'm just going to try this to be honest other guilds will probably not even have someone assigning manually they'll have a bot do it or something um but yeah here we've got the two fleets as well if you've uh got into ships recently that might be a little too early for you but I'm going to say six thousand power minimum again so i wouldn't worry too much about that if you can't enter but if you can all the better now the idea is when we're doing defense work i.e the first day when the territory war has begun we're basically trying to fill every slot in the map so there's going to be 13 slot uh, 13 squad spaces to fill in each uh, territory each zone so 13 here 13 here etc so the idea is we want to make it as strong up oh, this is how i believe it anyway you want to make it as strong as possible first of all that's a standard but each guild will have its own method but the way i'd look at it is try and make it harder at the front and try and i wouldn't say go easy at the back but just try and put your good stuff up front the main reason is the conquer points now it doesn't say it here just for the fact that there isn't actually anything to describe yet but the conquer points or the conquer banners they're pretty much what get you the win in the end or the loss so if you come up against a really tough wall that you can't break down you can't conquer you're really missing out on the banners so for me that's why i always prioritize a strong front wall it, even if it is eventually broken like in the last territory wall i thought we had a pretty strong wall i think we had bastlers we had a treya we had a darth raven which is quite rare in our guild you know and you think to yourself okay maybe that'll hold and credit to the opposition they really did break down that wall well and then behind it i think we had bounty hunters and some other stuff so you just look at it and you think okay that was good so it's all about what can you as a guild throw at another guild just say right can you break this down so you have to you have to try and work out what suits your guild's defense best i mean if you're an early guild you've got one method which i'm not going to go into too much but if you're a top end guild obviously you've got more uh, units more squads so it's not that difficult so it's it's definitely interesting when you're setting up defense with the offense in mind the trick is you've got to obviously have enough squad say first of all that was the one thing that was concerning me last n night when we were just going through the last phases because i can't remember off the top of my head but the school we were about about 700 to a thousand behind in the final stages we got about 25 minutes left you're thinking to yourself right we've lost this and then out of nowhere one of our players bill bonius I think I hope you said your name right anyway. He just came out. He, I don't know if he'd uh, been holding his stuff in reserve or I, I've got no idea, but I was grateful he was there because we managed to get the back wall knocked down, got us the conquer, and I think it was in the final minutes we got the win. So, yeah, I felt sorry for the opposition there, but God, I was elated for our guild. So, yeah, it was, it was a good win last night. And my priority right now just thinking ahead to the next one is let's see if we can make things easier for ourselves let's see if we can change things up a little bit i'm not going to say what exactly because obviously this is on youtube but i'm going to just try and make it easier for the guild because i think last time it was a little bit over complicated so this time i'm going to try and simplify things a little bit but i'm going to have a think on it in the next what we're on it's 20 to 8 my time so i've got maybe a couple of hours before i go to bed so uh yeah i'll have a think so i feel like i've rambled for a bit but main point is you need 6000 uh power for each uh character so that's uh 30000 minimum for a squad if you've got that you can enter if you can enter place it in defense that's my view anyway because you're probably not going to take anything out on offense so yeah just placed on defense take up a squad in the defense you get your points and you get the rewards at the end so if you are uncertain just ask whoever's in your guild who's an officer just ask them in general and they might be able to tell you should i put least in defense should i hold it in offense personally for my guild i'll be saying placed in defense just for the fact that i would rather fill the defense spot to get banners for that rather than saving it on offense and potentially waste the banners so um yeah 
that's pretty much it really if you have got any questions leave a comment wherever you think's appropriate but yeah i've thought i'd make this video just about territory wars because it's something i've been in, involved with a bit recently and i haven't ever made a, a swgoh video so uh yeah this is fun all right see you folks bye for now Thank you.